So, hello everyone and welcome back to Battle Protters. Where last time around we finally got the weasel down. Even though we lost one from our company. And this time around I have named all of the ones that we have at the moment. So here is Thomas the Gloves, Tancred the Dark, Maverintia, Smart Bounce, Silkworm, uh, Prater Cassius who is very fittingly a monk. And then Duke of the Age is the older. So that is our crew for the moment. I think you will be starting from the back line just because you are still a bit wounded and all that. And let's give you a perk. I think nine lives is probably a good idea considering you don't have the shield and all that even. So a bit of a higher chance of surviving once per battle upon receiving a killing blow will survive instead with a few hit points left. The next hit is likely to kill you for good, of course. So yes, 9 lives it shall be. 9 lives it shall be. And uh, then we need to be going somewhere else than stay in Krumhorn for the moment. We do not have any quests available over here. We do not have any new men either to hire as a possibility, so I don't think we will be hiring either one of them. But go and try our luck in a city. But I was thinking that we would be able to probably get this. I'm not sure if we are able to get a better uh, spear uh, somewhere cheaper, but I think this is probably okay enough of a price from here. So, Melissa spear, and I think spears in this point would be pretty good after all. So let's get that nonetheless. And uh, what else? Yeah, I was thinking that uh, we could try to go and get this amber shot, one amber shot, and see how that will be paying off for us. Uh, we even did have like this, uh, yeah, cloth rolls that we can be trying to then sell in the city which probably is going to be better for us. And as I understand, this Amber Collector is probably the reason that we this place like collects Amber, and so it's going to be cheaper here. And probably also not good place to sell it is Tiefenstadt, nor any probably of cities of this like. So I think we are going to be going either to Fulfenstein or Dawnguard. And considering we have already been to Tiefenstadt, I think we are going to be heading to full Fenstein Raptor at the moment, so let's go and start our way into this way at the first day, dusk, and hope we do not meet any enemies on the way. Yes, there is wooden watchtower with a small carrison on watch duty. Yes. At least don't see anything happening at the moment. I guess we could uh, speed this up for a moment, considering we're heading in town. And nothing bigger for the moment. So, Fulfenstein, Fulfenstein, however we would be wishing to say it. And there seems to be quite a lot of stuff here. So, there's a training hall, a tavern, marketplace. Higher moment, of course, then the armorer and a weaponsmith, but nothing else. We need to be looking into that. But uh, training hall, um, list of training crowns, some pay for lessons to mold your men into experienced fighters. So, have your men participate in a sparring fight with experienced opponents in various fighting styles. The bruises collected and lessons learned will result in a Plus 40% experience gained for 2-3 to three days. Okay, that's interesting though. That's very interesting. Could be useful. Could be useful for sure too. Considering like all the perks and stuff are very useful after all. For us to survive. Ooh, this is nice. We are able to get a little bit extra money in here now for this. So it was a good deal. Wolf the war dog, a strong and loyal dog bred for war, can be unleashed in battle for scouting, tracking, or running down root rooting enemies. Huh. I wonder, does it like. Is it used then? If it's once used? I'm really interested in trying this out. I gotta say. This is like immediately caught my attention here, for sure. Totally caught my attention here. Lots of interesting stuff over here. 
Hmm, I guess I'll at least sell the sparkler because I don't really like it. Uh, what about the armor? Good armor, but also expensive armor. Uh, it would be good armor. Ooh, that's a nice looking shield. Heter shield, a triangular wooden shield covered with letter and gun was ranged and melee defense maximum fatigue minus 14 minus 10 but a little bit less defense a little bit only but basically this gives better melee defense i kind of like that hmm could consider buying it but it's sort of expensive oh yeah uh, i need to sell this as well crot rolls so that will give us a little bit more money and hopefully ooh, that's, a, that's an expensive guy but he does also have higher level yeah so not very surprising and 55 daily wage hmm Torm is still the militia man huh war is hungry piece militia conscripts like Torm are what feed it hmm that's not ridiculous and high price if you consider that he at least comes equipped with some stuff. And uh, is so to speak somewhat into this sort of stuff. Janold is pretty nicely cheap though. And uh, so is Windrich and Anton the Tepid. So, Janold got his start as a grave digger by burying his baby brother, okay? Well, that's an interesting start. And Anton the Tepid catches Catcher of Rats. That's the title under one's preferred. Hmm. Let's go and get Anton the Tepid into our group. Sure. What about Windrich? Very keen on and off. Windrich is known as a detailer, someone to ask whenever an extra hand is needed. Yeah. Janot seemed very interesting, so let's get him. And I'm not sure about you, but at least you do start with some equipment straight away, so there is that one good side. But uh, I think that I'm running into a risky waters by spending this month. But I would be interested to assess know how much better is someone like this. And I would prefer to have one more man at least, so I guess I will try to see about doing this. So let's see. Let's first of all move you a little bit so you are all the new people so let's see so Anton to Tepit is starting with the net hmm. in order to prevent them from moving or defending themselves effectively uh, so background rat catcher catcher of rats that's the title Anton once preferred the aircraft grew up in Fulfenstein to survive in the alleys for sheep entertainment, his father taught him the ways to of snaring tiny rodents. But Wolfenstein varies on people and it wore an Anton like a giant nibbling creature, sensing that there must be more to life than rats. Anton now seeks to dish up some rat soup, rat salad, rat kebab, rat bread, rat stew, rat chicken, rat wine. After a while you stop listening. Oh, very interesting kind of guy. Does have a high initiative. Uh, good hit points. Hmm. Uh, not really bad melee skill. Ah, uh, you are also irrational. I got a lot of guys with, who are irrational. So what about you, Janolt? Uh, background grave digger. Janolt got his start as a grave digger by Bernie's baby brother. There's a look in the dead, they say, but there's also a look in those who have seen the dead. Yenol has now spent a life and a half digging graves, big ones and small. To the grave digger, death is now but a science. Every grave digger is eyed with suspicion. It wasn't long until his patrons became accursed, and the notion of a horrific crime of undead passion drove him from his work. The claims are absurd, but you can't get a raid on his pale face. It's like playing cards with the moon. Right. Loyal. I'm with you. This character is loyal to the end and much less likely to leave you even if you run out of crowns and provisions. Oh, that's nice. You're a loyal guy. Determined. Don't worry, I got this. This character shows a formidable amount of self-confidence. Will start combat at confident morale if permitted by mood. Oh, that's pretty nice. You are all very, very loyal and you are very, very determined, but you are not that great skill-wise. 
you do have a couple of skills in that and I guess you have a star at least in a melee defense so that's good what about you then Tormis Moon to militia man who does at least start with a buckler which is not that great though war is a hungry beast militia conscript like Tormis Tube are what feed it while he got proper training, there was rarely enough food to go around for the second-rate soldiers. After a year of uh, traipsing around with shoddy gear, he decided to look for something a bit more to his liking. Self-sworns. Hmm. Oh. Quick. Already there. This character is quick to act often before his opponents do. Spartan. Who needs more than an oatmeal and water, so you eat less too. That's pretty nice. And in good spirits. So we got a couple who eat less. You have more in resolve. And you two actually have a pretty decent melee skill. Very much indeed. 60. 60 is pretty good. I think you shall deserve a proper shield then. And probably you will get the militia spear. I would love to get some more shields. But I'm not sure if I can afford good shields. I can get one. I guess I will get one proper shield in the meantime. But I uh, can't really afford more. Can't really afford more. This only is 35, so I guess I will take that little cap as a protection. I guess I could buy this. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I need it. I'm not sure if I do necessarily need it. I guess I will try this with you, my little rat catcher. Huh. Well, have that I guess. And you should get some sort of a melee weapon, however. It's just a question what sort of a melee weapon you shall be getting. I guess this one for you. This is really bad armor, so at least get a little bit better one. You really don't have a lot now then, but I'm not sure if I can do much better for you. You can get that as a little bit of better defense cap-wise, but it's not that much better. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay, well, I guess this is about how much I can go and get at this point. For a certainty. Uh, okay, contract locked. Only contracts by the noble house owning this fortifications are available here. But they don't recognize you as worthy of their attention, increase your renown and fulfill the ambitions of noble houses to take notice of the company in order to unlock new contracts oh well great lovely so uh we gotta be going elsewhere to find job what about the weapons meet freaking lovely weapons in famous reckoning a separate striking head that's to handle by a chain a rather unpredictable weapon but useful to strike over and around shield cover this patrical flail seems even more terrifying due to its unique characteristics yeah well, it's an expensive weapon, that's for sure. That is for certainty. Oh, by the way, I probably should, because we may be in a longer fight at some point, so you should probably have some sort of a weapon too. Is that better than this one? Probably is. 15 to... Yeah, I think you should have that, considering you're the more experienced in melee, you're less experienced. So, I think that's better. I think that is probably better. So yeah, then the names. Anton the Tebbit, Channeled, and Tourismund the Militiaman. So I think you will be named... Again, Tourist Moon, the Militia Man. So let's see. I guess you will be Bell. 
Telfontan. Telfontan, the militia man. And then, uh, I wonder. Grape Digger? Well, I saw the Grape Digger is the very loyal one, even though otherwise I would go for the Rat Catcher, but you will be Google then. I think you shall be Google. Yes, and you can be untaunted tepid as you are for the moment and time being at the very least. And I think you are the one that I prefer to lose if I have to be losing someone. Yeah, okay, don't. Um, but yeah, we have to go and get shop somewhere else then. And yeah, I was thinking that like here probably is the same problem. It's a big city, so at the moment we can't get job there. So uh, either it would be all the way into there or into Mardolf, considering it's right here. So I think that's going to be our destination. And hopefully there's some job for us, considering we're relatively low on the crowns too. So we really definitely need some shops. Um, yeah, okay, first Stephen Stunt company going that way. And during camp, sitting and chesting with the men while they check their kit, hone their blades and mend their armor, your mind wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the lands. What is your conclusion and what do you tell the men? We need allies, fortune upon a friendship and trust with one of the towns will get the company better prizes, more volunteers and more steady work. Or we shall get the company strength back to a dozen men, it will make us a formidable force against and will again and will allow us to take on more profitable work. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the allies for now and uh, move on from there. So forging a bond of friendship with some town. Orchard in here. And ruins. Ah, oh, lovely. There's at least a conduct here. There's a tavern even in this small place that is kind of surprising. There's one man here that we could be hiring. Day Taylor. Hmm. It is enough or small enough for a price, but probably I shouldn't go for that right now. Probably. I could try to get a bit for otherwise, but it's a bit expensive now too. So I think the only thing to do is to go and get a contract. So negotiations. Roloff Markdov is standing by his window, peering out while nursing a mug of meat. Meat. He doesn't really seem to be focused on anything in Patrickal and even talks as if he couldn't care less about the conversation. Grave robbers are plundering the cemetery. Again, I'm not really asking much of you, Salesward, other than to go there and put an end to this foolish business. Go to that cemetery and kill every grave robber you see. Got it? Good. Well, let's talk about money then. He smiles. This not like your rich man, my friend. You are to receive 470 crowns when the contract is done. Can you please give me a little bit more because I just really would need some more money? Who do you think you are? I tell you how you're getting paid. It's 470 crowns when the contract is done. Fine. I accept your offer. I accept the contract. Negotiated as follows. Fine. Fine. Terrified villagers. The villagers here are terrified of the unknown horrors. Fewer potential recruits are to be found on the streets. And people deal less favorably with dangers. Strangers even. Okay, it's here. Improvised burial site. So, uh, I guess we're gonna be going there. I'm not sure if we should do camp actually before that. Considering you are wounded, I wonder how long would it take for you to heal this pierced chest, considering it does give you minus 20 to the max fatigue. Two to four days is a bit long though, so I guess we should just be heading heading onwards and uh, hoping for the best that this will be going for the best way that we wish. Six more days though, so that's at least decent. At least we got safely here as you approach. You come to find many of the graves are emptied. Not just emptied, but underneath from below. This is not work of the grave robbers. To arms. You can't make out who you'll be facing. Attack at your own peril and be prepared to retreat if need be. <sighs> engage, then. Engage. <sighs> Lovely. 
zombies, basically. Be the rangers. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of getting use of this. But, uh... Not all can go into that. Of course, you could consider trying to get into here and getting some... Hits from the side. Sure, I'll try that with you. And you will try to go and get into this spot to be hidden. Others. I'll move you. You can stand there then. And you will be starting to move here. And yeah, I'm just uh, gonna be moving them all into there. Uh, we are in the even numbers. Nine opponents and nine of us. So... We'll see. We'll see how this will be going. I'm gonna try to do my best to keep everyone alive, but we shall see how that will work out in the end. I guess you will move here for the moment. Uh, there is uh, the problem that there's a brush over that spot. Which is kind of an unfortunate sort of a situation. Maybe I should then rather move you into this spot. You will go into that spot when he gets there. So then there's you little group over in this spot and then you to defend from that spot. I guess that's uh, as well as I can get at this moment. Hmm. Move here, I guess. At least I think all the enemies should be coming from here, so that's at least something. Hmm. Not sure if this will be good enough of a spot for you to be, or safe enough, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I, I guess I should have tried to shoot, maybe, or wait first. Hmm. Well... Come into here then. Just wait, and you will come here, and wait. Not sure how many will be coming for you guys if you are a little bit back more, but I guess we'll see. I need to be starting to move uh, accordingly. At least there's some right here below, but there seems to be more above, so I'm a bit concerned about that. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know yet. I do not know yet. Hmm, I should tro probably try that out too. For the moment, you guys can just wait, however. Let's wait with you so that you can maybe get even a little bit better shot. And you shall wait as well so we can see if there's something better you can try to do. Most can just pass the turn straight away because they're not going to be getting here quite that quickly. At least most of them don't seem to have weapons, but some of them surely do. So, that's something to be a bit worried about. Yeah, there's at least some quite bad fellows coming from there. Quite unfortunately bad fellows coming from that direction. Uh, I guess I will try to hit this guy. Nice shot, nice shot. Nice shot. What about you, smart pants? Can you do something similar? Apparently you can't shoot those guys. Hmm. Guess I'll have to wait with you then for a moment. I guess you should maybe even move a little bit closer to smart pants just in case. Because I don't know if these guys are actually... Going to be going into that direction to begin with. So, we'll see. You are in a little bit higher ground, but we'll see how that will exactly play out. Just wait for the moment. I don't think the spear wall is needed quite yet. Try to hit again. Nice. He's almost down at least. If no one else, he's at least almost down. So that is positive. Ah. <sighs> He did get on the way right to you already. That's quite unfortunate. I was hoping that he wouldn't have been able to get there that far yet. 
but he indeed did. Because I would have been liking to use spear wall, but that's a bit too late now. Hmm. I'm not sure if uh, this is good enough against or useful to use against uh, this kind of uh, undead, but I guess we'll try. At least all the shields or the armor went down, so that's at least nice. It's a shame that you can't get the spear wall, but on the other hand, you did hit nicely, so there's that. There is that. Now you can at least try to be shooting some peoples. Or, well, undead, more like. Guess this is a pretty good target. Hmm. I guess I will wait until those come closer, nonetheless. Let's try to kill this guy then. I think. You will wait. Um, and you will wait for this turn. I guess you will go at least one step closer, but not more yet. Even though it may be a little bit risky, but... Still... Most will wait. You will put the spear wall down at this point and then wait. Then you shall try to shoot someone. Hmm. I guess you could try to shoot this again. Oh, Why couldn't you hit? That is the saddening situation. You shall wait, I think, for a moment. I think you should get shield wall up, to be honest, even though we might have been able to clear this guy out if I didn't, but... Still... I think you will try to hit this guy here a little bit further away, but you didn't manage to do it, Duke of the Ages. Why couldn't you manage to do it? Well, Kugel is up, of course, as well. So, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe you will get the shield wall up, it will help him too. And then wait for a bit. Nice, nice, nice. I guess he was trying to bite you. Didn't manage to do it though. These guys are the most dangerous ones as sus, considering they have weapons like that and uh, quite a bit of armor, so... That's something to be worried about, however. I guess you will wait for the moment. They aren't going to come here anyway, so... Guess you guys will wait for that. Um, That's going to come closer, though. Of course, it's a little bit risky for these guys, but... Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this will be going. I'm sort of thinking that I could, should go and help these two, because they are actually in a fight already. But then on the other hand, I'm thinking that but, but these are coming so soon, and it seems to be okay for the moment. Ah, why didn't you hit? Yeah, just do the shield wall again, and then wait. I guess you will go and hit this guy, though. Well, try to hit it, Anton. Mm. These are the dangerous ones, so you will try to hit this guy, but hey, you hit that one, so that is totally fine with me. Do shield wall, and then just try to kill this off. Nice, 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 nice. Shield wall back up, thank you very much. So we have shield walls on both of you. Or, well, spear wall on you, but not on you, of course. Shield wall on, only on you. Well, you will do the this back up and then just try to hit. Okay, there's actually one coming all the way from here still. Ooh, nice job, though. Tancred the Duck, very nice job over there with both of those guys. Very lovely. That's what I'm talking about. If you keep up that, then that should be very good for us. Even though you don't have anything to do still, Prater Cassius. No, not really if you either. You could try to go here and try to hit, I guess. Maybe I should try to go here to just help a bit more. But you're doing such a good... Uh, 
it's not a good job, but uh, now there's this guy right here, which needs to be killed again. Again. Well, this is almost anyways dead, so I think we needed to just kill him again. Only 9% chance basically to hit. You do have a decent chance of trying to hit all the way here, so I think I will try to do that instead. But you failed me, smart pants. You failed me greatly here. Okay, well, you definitely will be taking the shield wall. Keeping it up, good. That guy is again down. Then there's options of the, what we exactly wish to do, but I think this is a good option, so lovely, you hit him. And just keep the shield wall up. Nice. Anton, and you are hit. Spear pull back up, definitely, it worked thus far. Lovely. Lovely. Very nice jobs. Very nice jobs. Trying to tank the dog. Very nice. Okay. He is alive. Well, you don't have anything to do from there. This guy try can try to be hitting you now though, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Not much more you can do right now though. Well, I guess you will advance and try to hit this guy, but you couldn't. Guess you will try to hit all the way into here again. Nice. Nice job of hitting all the way down there. Let's try to kill this guy again first. Or, well, again, I'm not sure if that was again, but anyways, that guy. This is one some, uh, something that I'm worried about. This haven't been able to do that much at the moment. Gladly enough. He's almost down, so do try to shoot him. Very nice. Shield will back up, just in case. Then hit that one. Yeah, that was the one that I was more worried about. Very nice job. Dankred Duck, you've been doing a great job. Try to kill this guy. Great job still. Really great jobs. So this would uh, take a little bit of your action points, but we could try to actually kill this guy, so I think we will try to go and do exactly that. Of course, he may come back alive again, but... Well, at least for one point in time he's down, so... Okay, nice job of hitting him. Yeah, at least one is back. Only one though. So I guess that's pretty decent. Okay, lovely. I think you will retreat a little bit. Um, so that he can just immediately try to hit you. You will hit this one. Didn't hit though. Not too bad. You have still a pretty good chance of hitting all the way there. Ooh, I was so worried that you would be hitting an ally. <laughs> uh, gladly not though, gladly not. I guess we'll let him advance first. And you can still try to shoot this guy because it's pretty, pretty safe to do so. But yeah, I was thinking that he shouldn't even necessarily be able to then try to hit anyone, so... Just, just get the shield wall up. Nonetheless, it's nice to have one shield wall up at least around here. Then this guy needs to die. Nice. Very, very nice. And that one needs to die at some point or another. Pretty good, he's almost down. This has been going very surprisingly well, to be honest, thus far. Uh, okay, well. <sighs> one more up, though. It just happened to work relatively nicely for us. Ooh, that was a nice shot. This should be going pretty much for, like, exactly in our favor at the moment, though, so... It shouldn't be too bad at the moment. I don't think you can really safely hit into there, so don't shoot. Nice. That is very good. Then there's only one guy left. 
who I don't think he can just go and try to kill anyone right now, so... You're still alive too. That went amazingly well. We got even three level ups. Duke of the Ages got up a level and Brother Cassius and Tantra to Dark, who I seriously have to say that really deserved it too. Uh, not a very good loot though. One Militia Spear is nice enough, Hand Axe and some crowns, so... Something, something I guess, but not really that great. But let's just then return to Markdorf and uh, get paid. For this. But yeah, I was very much not thinking that it would go that well, but I do have to say Tangra to Dark did excellent job. Roller of Mark Dorf is grinning slyly as you return. Nasty business, wasn't it? I've already heard the news. It travels fast in this part. A shame we had to do it this way, but who knows what you'd have charged otherwise for fighting these things. Hey, you're still getting bait. The chest is still wooden chest in the corner. 470 crowns are in there as we agreed upon. Mark Dorf no longer has terrified Willis's crowns well deserved. Blood money. So that's nice, at least, that we got some blood money for that. So yeah, I guess I'll sell this buckler because I really don't like the buckler that much. Maybe I should get one more peach work. Hmm. Maybe. We have a decent amount of tools. We do actually need arrows, ammunition. I guess we'll just buy some more ammo because we really do need some more and uh, maybe I'll buy one more beach work that is way too expensive for me to consider actually buying way too expensive so let's buy that and uh, I guess I can buy this for 70 or so we don't really need Trinks at the moment either, to be honest. Only you're still available. As such, well we could maybe hire you, but I know right away if I need to. So. Oh. Oh, you have actually this kind of ability. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, but I used your web, so that's why. With the second hand free, this character can get a firm cr double grip on this weapon. Is that just like, okay, it just goes away like that. So it's not a special ability for you, but just like, I was thinking that this is then a special ability for you, but most apparently not, it's just ability, so to speak. That is a little bit better for you as sus as an armor. Mm, is this any better? Yeah, it is a little bit better, and I guess Anton the Tepit can get this one then. For the moment, this should be sold. I guess that's all otherwise okay. I don't know. In all honesty, I don't want Anton to get that. Considering I would rather have someone who I want to be keeping alive more so to get it. So maybe Google could get it for the moment. The pitch work and then you just would get the... A uh, shield. Ah, no. Not you, Google. Let's try to talk to this guy here, Anton the Tebit. You would get them the shield. So I would kind of like to have a couple of more with the, with that. So let's get the level ups anyway. So Prater Cassius, first of all. Hmm. And you can get a little bit more resolve. So I guess I'll take that. Hit points. And then melee. I think that's decent. Though I should also get fatigue, but I couldn't get but two at the moment, so for that reason I chose not to. What about you? Well, at least plus four to the range skill. Uh, hmm. Plus four to the initiative, I guess is decent, and then some more fatigue. Hit points wouldn't be bad either, to be honest, but I guess I'll take that for the moment. What about you, Tangrid the Dark? Hit points. 
that's not useful. That's just plus two to the melee skill, unfortunately. At least fatigue them. Maybe resolve, considering you only have 40 or so. Even though I would love to get melee skill higher too. Well, you are at least in the combat, so I could think of getting something like Colossus. Considering you have even a good bonus to hit points, so hit points are increased by 25%. Yeah, let's do that. So you have even higher, higher hit points. What about you then? Each attack misses an opponent. With each attack that misses an opponent. So I assume that also works for uh, range attacks. Cripple your foes, lower the threshold to inflict injuries by 33% for both melee and range weapons, which could be nice too. Pathfinder could actually be nice too, because I would like to get you into higher ground, possibly a little bit more efficiently. Recover. Hmm. This recover could be also very useful for someone. But I guess I could try to take one of these. You are pretty good to hit already, so maybe let's take the crippling strikes. That could be nice. What about you? You did already have more hit points. So in that sense, the Colossus could be very nice as well for you. Uh, in the future, maybe you will not be having a pitch war, but actually being in the front row. So, okay, well, I guess I'll take that. So that would be all the level ups for the moment and time being. Yeah, that went surprisingly well though that we didn't actually manage to lose anyone. That is very... Very unlikely situation that we wouldn't be losing anyone. I'm sure that won't be lasting long though. I'm very sure that that won't be lasting for very, very long. So yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a sad ending. Friedrich. I uh, know, man. Should I be by hiring another man? Maybe not here, considering we still don't uh, have actually another job around here. So that's probably not the best thing. But I think we'll end here for the... Oh, there's actually a visa right there if we want to be going and heading up. I guess this is more of a village too, so we could go into there. Could be interesting. But on the other hand, we've been here for the moment, so... But I'm not sure if it's worth it for me to try to travel all the way to the and start because I'm not sure if I have enough faction bonus now on them. Yeah, they're still neutral after all, so... Mark Dorf and Krum Horn are open, yes, but... Uh, these all are neutral, very, very neutral. Krum Horn might have a job for us, but... Maybe I should try to be heading here next, but for the moment I'll end here and next time we shall be heading then into there and uh, see about new new things for us, new issues, new battles and probably losing quite a few men. So I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time with more Battle Brothers. So see you soon.